Cancers and welcome back to my channel Loom and Moon Tarot. So Cancers, I am here to do I am here to do another late night love read baby. Yeah. Um and I have a song for you too. Um it kind of describes how your person is feeling right now. Um but yeah, anyway, Cancers, this reading is for the collective, my darlings. It is not going to resonate with all of you, though, okay? So just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You know the drill. Um, I want to thank all of you for all of your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything. You're helping this channel grow. We're growing together. And um, if you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You don't want to miss anything goofy here, right? Happens on the daily, guys. <laughs> um, and this channel is for adults only. Okay, let's get started. Um, the song that I got for you, um, it's a song called What'll I Do? Um, and that's, it's how your person feels that um, they've been, it's been bugging me now for like the last hour. So, <laughs> um, uh, how does it go again? I might have to look up the words, guys. Give me a second. I don't know. The, I don't know. I know the tune, okay, but I don't. I'm. I'm not fully acquainted. Okay, here we go. Um. <coughs> okay, gone is the romance that was so divine. Tis broken and cannot be mended. You must go your way. And I must go mine But now that our love dreams have ended What'll I do when you are far away And I am blue What'll I do? What'll I do when I am wondering who is kissing you? What'll I do? What'll I do with just a photograph to tell my troubles? When I'm alone with only dreams of you that won't come true, what'll I do? Okay, so that's the song that I got. I hope you guys can hear it because they can't really sing it really loud. Um, but listen, that is the song that I got. Um, and what that tells me is your person. N number one, I think they know that this, this connection has just been squeezed to the point where I really feel like most of you cancers have just completely turned your back on the situation, you know. Um, it's just gotten to the point where it didn't give you anything and you've healed and you've worked on yourself that you've just kind of grown above it now. And um, even though it, it is, it's, it still hurts you, okay? But you know, you're not, I feel like mo for the most part, you're not really in your emotions over it anymore. You're really more focused into moving forward and um, conquering the world, basically. Yeah, you know, moving forward and, going for your happiness, seizing the day, however you want to say it, right? Um, and your person now, they're realizing that they just dropped the ball, is what I'm seeing. Yep, <laughs> that's a confirmation. They just dropped the ball. Um, this is like, you know, uh, the Five of Pentacles is like being out left out in the cold, right? Um, what'll I do? Um, how does it go? God dang it. See, I don't, I'm not fully acquainted with the song yet. Um, uh, when you are far away and I am blue, what'll I do? 
they also um, they're worried about you hooking up with someone else, getting with someone else, because they know right now that you're a single person and you're absolutely brilliant. They're watching you, they're envious, and it, it says in here, um, what'll I do when I am wondering who is kissing you? What'll I do? Right? Uh, they can't, they're not speaking to you, you guys are not on speaking terms, you've turned your back on this situation. And it's, it's just come to the end, I think, of at least the way this, this, this connection has been going so far. Your person has not put any effort into this, and it does take two. So, and you put in as much effort as you're going to, I feel, and you've just turned your back on the situation because it wasn't giving you anything back, okay? But now they're left wondering, well, what do I do now? What am I, what'll I do? My cancer's gone. Wait a minute, what'll I do? What's going to happen if my high-vibing, beautiful cancer gets with somebody else? What'll I do? What'll I do sitting up at night w wondering who's kissing my cancer? What's, what'll I do when I'm left with the, with the dreams of you, you know? Um, uh, when I'm alone with only dreams of you that won't come true, what'll I do? That's what your person is saying, you know? Five of Pentacles, worry, feeling like they're left out in the cold. This person could even be having money issues. They could be having um, health issues from the stress. But I'm seeing this as a ball. I'm seeing as that they dropped the ball. They dropped the ball on this, and now the, the whole situation's in ruin. Your person worrying about money, I feel like they're also in financial ruin here with the Ten of Swords, but this is a lot of pain. Your person's in a lot of pain. Like, what'll I do? You see? What'll I do? Look at their hands. What'll I do? When you are far away and I am blue, what'll I do, right? And you are far away now. You're far away elevated to a level where it's like they can't touch you, and you're far away in communication because they never reached out to you. You know? And now they're, won they're wondering, what'll I do now? A defeat. They're defeated in this situation. They were playing like they were gambling with this. They were gambling with your love. They were gambling with this connection, okay? Gambling with the amount of time that they had to win you back, all right? They gambled a lot here and lost. Defeat. You know, hold on. There's something in this. They feel defeated. Gone is the romance that was so divine. You guys could be twin flames. Tis broken and cannot be mended. Right? It's broken and it cannot be mended, man. It can't. They didn't give you anything. You walked away. Um, you must go your way and I must go mine. But now that our love dreams have ended, right? Now that it's ended, what'll I do when you are far away, right? And I am blue, what'll I do? Let's rock it up. What will I do? <laughs> When I am wondering who is kissing you, what'll I do? Ow! Right? <laughs> Sing it. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is the difference. Your person is like, what'll I do? The love. And you're over here like, be bopping, do ba do ba do. What will my person do? You know what I mean? <laughs> And they're standing here, they're sitting here staring at you. Okay, so this person is watching you, Cancer. I'm sorry, I'm a goofball. This person is watching you on the computer. I feel like um, somehow you got some public forum. Maybe it's this is just your media, you know, social media. 
and they're very very envious because you're happy you're high vibing you're happy um, I feel like um, you're a teacher this says teacher I feel like um, just by watching you your person could be learning about this connection or you're teaching them about something maybe you could be a spiritual teacher spiritual healer I'm just seeing a lot of happiness here um, I see you as being single too and your person doesn't like that because they're wondering who is kissing you right what'll what'll I do <laughs> yeah um, they are defeated in this situation because they gambled your love they gambled the connection they didn't do anything they gave you nothing you healed on your own you move forward with your life and and this connection is is pretty much ended um, and your person's like feeling bad for themselves, you know? Gone is the romance that was so divine. You guys could be twin flames. Tis broken and cannot be mended, right? It's just worry, ruin, defeat. And them being envious and watching you nonstop online. Because, um... This connection is broken and cannot be mended, right? I feel like they're they're watching you and they may even have pictures of you. What'll I do with just a photograph to tell my troubles to? Yeah. They watch you and they, they get sad, they get upset, they get they get envious because they see you out there vibing high, doing your thing, being happy, being single, being beautiful, cancer, and uh, you know, they may even feel like um, they're a bit uh, in competition with you. They're, yeah, they're worried about competition. I see them kind of competing with you here, you know, really struggling because you're doing so well. But yeah, the, this um, this five of wands is competition. They're worried about um, how does it come again? <laughs> I should probably learn the song before I get on here and try to sing it feebly, a feeble attempt to sing it on YouTube for all to see. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and click that subscribe button. You don't want to miss any of this crap. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, what was I talking about here? to tell my troubles to yeah what'll I do when I am wa wondering who is kissing you what'll I do this is about competition too they know you're happy they know you're single they know you can take care of yourself you're the catch cancer we've been saying it for since I got on YouTube right yeah, your person is heartbroken, sorrow over a third party situation, you know, and um, stabbing you in the back. But this is a lot of sorrow. This is a lot of pain. Look at so far all we've got out here is swords, cancer, for your person and them being envious and worried about competition. You know, your person could even fly off the handle and start throwing things wherever they are, smashing things, depending on what they're hearing or seeing. Um, through your social media smashing everything up the whole entire room I could see them having fits of rage and um, jealousy maybe worry they could very much be losing their cool here money falling out of their pockets because all they're doing is thinking about you yeah what'll I do yeah what will they do? They're losing everything. Their credit, they lost a cell phone here. I think that's a watch maybe. Got some coins, some, yeah. They're, they're just hanging out here doing nothing though. They do nothing except for wallow. Really, that's what I'm getting. They're doing nothing except for wallowing and you're just like, dun, 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 You know what I mean? You're, you're doing great. You're happy, you're high vibing. 
But I got the music thing going on in my head. Yeah, you're just doing a da 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 That's what your energy feels like. You guys could be really, really busy. Um, really quick paced, very, very busy. Um, barely sitting. If you're sitting down, it's like you, you, you only got a minute, right? This is a half sit. <laughs> this is a half sit. And your music is more like seriously. So you're kind of moving and shaking these days is what I'm getting. Just work with me here, Cancer. <laughs> when I get the messages like this, I have to blurt them out. But this is the music they're showing me in my head or having me listen to, right? Playing. There you go. Um, yeah, you're, you're spending a lot of time working and you're busy and you're building something, you know, like seeing do, 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 like putting things together, very quick paced, very high vibing, maybe even listening to music on your own, wherever you are. Um, if not put on that song, start bopping around. Cause I feel like that's your energy, especially like for the last few days. Your person's envious. I feel like they're watching you succeed, watching you be single, watching you be beautiful, happy, spiritual. As they watch you doing, you know, spending their time watching you, money's falling out of their pockets and they're not doing anything else. Like I said, and with all these swords up here, um, the ruin, defeat, and sorrow, and worry, look at this. This person's going to start throwing stuff. They're going to start, like, smashing up the, the room like a rock band at a Sheridan. Seriously. Yeah. That's what I'm feeling here, anyway. <laughs> ah, you liking the crazy energy tonight, Cancers? I'm feeling good. Um, oh, hey, I have a... Well, let's not use this deck because it's all messed up. But look, I've got an after tarot card in this deck. Let's see what it is. Yeah, deception, not facing. This is this is so appropriate. For some reason, I've got a stray card in my deck. Okay, this is from the after tarot. You know, after this connection ended, you know, it, it number one, it ended because your person wouldn't make a decision. They just wanted to be sneaky. You know, they probably came into your life at one point, took something from you, could, you know, this is a theft card. They could have taken money, a material item. They could have taken things like your time, your energy, a piece of your heart, your sanity, okay? That kind of thing, your patience, right? And they, they kept you in this Two of Swords energy back here. Just keep, they, they keep looking over their shoulder at this decision that they have to make. Keep looking over their shoulder after uh, at the decision they have to make, but they don't really watch where they're going. They don't see what's actually happening in front of them. And this person is stepping now into a snare, and they're going to get trapped and tripped up, and that's exactly what happened here. They're getting tripped up. Financially, they're losing money. They're in ruin. Look at this worry, financial worry, dropping the ball on this relationship, right? Or this connection, I want to say. Um, not knowing what to do. What do I do? Feeling defeated because they gambled. This person could even be a gamble. A gamble. Yeah, this person is a gamble at this point. This person could even be, uh, have a gambling problem. And maybe that's why they lost all their money, you know? And, um... And they're in sorrow. They lost in this third party situation. So yeah, that's exactly what happened. They kept looking over their shoulder at the choice they had to make, but they never made a decision. And now they went and got them themselves all tripped up. You know? Yeah, that was kind of a happy little accident, huh? I think I'm feeling another one here. Maybe, no, maybe not. Yeah, it's the only after tarot card we have out, out here. How appropriate is that? Lots of synchronicities tonight with your messages, Divine, or um, <laughs> with your messages, Cancer, and Divine. Thank you. Popping songs in my head that I have to try to learn in like one minute, you know. <laughs> 
Oh boy. All right, let's see what else we've got here, Cancer. We'll just pull a few more. Oh, don't even need to pull anything. Bottom of the deck. Your person knows they missed an opportunity here. And it was an opportunity at true love. True love. That's why they spend all the time watching you. That's why they're so envious. Because they're just sitting here now waiting for that pit in their stomach to fall when they see that you have someone new. You know, oh, what'll I do when I am wondering who is kissing you? What'll I do? I feel like they're searching and looking for it. They're like waiting to see that. Okay, it's driving them a bit nutty. It's driving them a bit nutty, Cancer. Yeah, they missed their opportunity here. They're sitting here all like, huh, you know, um, kind of like a, you know, all but her big baby head, um, but still not not doing anything about it. Yeah, what'll they do, right? You know, Cancer. Yep, it flew out again. This person, they missed their opportunity. It, flew, it fell on top of this princess view. They're about to miss their opportunity too anyway because, you know, if they don't come forward and they haven't come forward yet, I really feel like, I don't like to say the ifs anymore because I really am feeling like for the majority of you, Cancer, you just are, you walked away from this. You walked away from the situation and you are fully prepared to move on and move forward and that's what you're focusing on. I, don't, I, I really feel like your person actually did miss an opportunity here and they know it too and this is that them having that outburst, you know, tearing up the place like, like a rocker and a Sheridan. Oh, that actually happened. I, who, what band was it? I think it was um, Van Halen tore up the Sheridan here in Wisconsin. <laughs> Yeah, I would have loved to have been in that room at the time. But anyway, um, yeah, this person wants to communicate. They want to take action. They definitely don't want you to, to be with anyone else, that's for sure. And they're, they're closely watching the situation, waiting to find that out, okay? Waiting for that that piece of information that's gonna, you know, make them totally freak out, you know, like Motley Crue in a Sheridan, Whew. right, yeah, all right, one more card, Ooh. yeah, this person, everything that they don't know about what's going on in your life is aggravating the crap out of this person. Everything that they don't know, look at all of this tension, all of this aggravation in the look of the moon, see? Everything that, that's hidden from them in your life is aggravating the crap out of them. They are just, they're just watching you, watching you, watching you, I feel cancer. Um, waiting to uh, find out who's around you, that's the part that really bothers this person, man. They know you're out there single. Yeah, it's driving them nutty. It's, it's, it's almost like they're feeling, should I communicate, should I not communicate? Well, they should have thought of that a while ago. You know, missed opportunity. Missed opportunity, but this person is still watching. Still have their, they have their envious green glasses on. They have envy glasses that they use to watch you with. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding, but that would be kind of cool. Envy glasses. I think we should make those. Um, God, that would be a good idea. Envy glasses. That'd be a great idea, man. Yeah. Sell them to all the haters, you know? But anyway, Cancer, yeah, this person, they're aggravated, tearing up the place like a rock star in a Sheridan. What'll they do when they find out who's kissing you, Cancer? Ooh, 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 ooh. One more card for Cancer, and then we'll call it a night, guys. Yeah, you're the Empress. 
Cancer, you are every queen in the deck. I love that we got this card out for the last card. You're every queen in the deck, my darlings. Very abundant, um, very intuitive, very independent, um, self-sufficient. You don't need anyone. You're not going to be in a codependent relationship or anything like that. You are independent, okay? Um, and you're not going to waste your time or play any games with anybody. I feel like this is you all bossed up. And you, you, like I said, you're not wasting your time. All right, guys, that's what I got for tonight. That was a fun reading. I have no idea what to call it yet, but I'll figure something out. Um, Cancers, if you like this video, please go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, and help me grow, darlings. And um, I love you guys. I absolutely love you. Thanks for joining me. And until next time, Cancers, take care of you, and peace out.